Hi everyone, my name is Arvalyn Hill and I'm the coordinator of family programs at the Everett's Children's Adventure Garden at the New York Botanical Gardens. Today I am outside in my neighborhood and I'm going to be exploring habitats, specifically a habitat underneath a log. Before we get started, I want you to take a moment and you can pause this video uh, to ask yourself or someone that you're with, have a discussion about what is a habitat? What do you think makes something a habitat? Um, for this activity, you just need a piece of paper and a pencil. And at any point throughout this video, you can pause the video and make observations on your piece of paper about what you see. All right, so let's get started. This is the log and in just a moment I'm going to flip it over and to see what I find. And I hope that you had a great discussion about what is a habitat. To me a habitat is a place where living things can find food, shelter, and protection to survive. So when we look underneath the log we're going to see if we can find evidence of those things which would make it a habitat. And we're going to use the prompts, I notice, I wonder, it reminds me of when making observations. And you can pause this video at any moment uh, to look more carefully at what you're seeing uh, and to make those observations. So let's turn it over and see what we can find. All right. So already I see evidence of what looks like to me a millipede. Um, I wonder if they like this environment because it's wet, it's dark, and it's damp. And it, even once I turned over the log, you can tell they're moving around. They're like, it's like I took the roof off of their house, which kind of reminds me of a house. I also see lots of dried leaves around too. And I'm wondering if those dried leaves are used as food because I know that uh, worms are decomposers and decomposers eat pl uh, plant material um, and that helps break down that material to go back into the environment. I also see that there are ants around too um, and that this environment is very cozy to them and they're enjoying it. Even on top of the log, I can see that earthworms are moving and this is a place where they are protected. So I definitely see signs of life uh, living in this environment. I see that there is food for the life and that there is protection. So next time that you are outside, uh, turn over a rock or a log and see what types of living things you might find underneath um, and explore a type of habitat. Thank you for watching.